The next drill that we're going to talk about is musical ground balls. Musical ground balls is exactly that. We take an old classic game of musical chairs, take the same concepts, and now we're adding it to a skill set. I like doing this right after ground ball limbo because you can, you can talk about those fundamentals of ground ball limbo when it's not really that competitive, if, especially if you don't have the defenseman in front of you and the goal you're shooting on. If you're just focusing strictly on both butts down, scoop through it. With this drill, what you're going to do is you're going to go ahead and line, line the players up equally side by side. Uh, you can do variations of this. You can do this, or you can put them in a circle. Um, really your preference or what kind of space that you have to use. The coach typically stands somewhere off to the side, out of the way, throws the balls out in the area. You probably want to have some kind of hard concrete line that they have, like a sideline or top of the box or whatever line you have available. There's variations of this. Uh, you see that you can have them on their backs, you can have them on their bellies, you can have them standing up uh, so they don't see where the balls are and they have to find the ground ball. It's really, again, it's a preference thing or just to change up the drill over time just so it doesn't get monotonous to them. So if you have five guys out there, you want to have four, um, you want to have four balls. You blow the whistle, whatever your trigger point is, they have to run out, grab the ground ball, and then they have to go back past the line. The, the one player that does not have a ground ball, they have the opportunity to play defense uh, on, on, the guy, on one of the guys that does if he, they're still out there. So once they make it past the line, they're safe. Once they're done, ball goes out, player goes out, and now you got uh, the four players, three balls. You could throw them back out there, and you keep going down through. You play it a couple times. If you have another group going, uh, you get the two champions. It's always fun. The kids cheer them on. Uh, this game, again, it may seem a little bit juvenile, but it is competitive. It is fun. I've used it from kindergarten all the way up to college guys, and for some reason, uh, musical chairs just never uh, that game never gets old, neither does musical ground balls. I think one of the cool things about doing it in this setting, where you do it at a camp setting, each group will end up doing it a little bit different, and they're all fine. They're all going to be fine. Like, you can have a group lay down opposite. You can have a group laying down forward. You can have a guy standing up. It doesn't matter. It just really depends on, you know, as a coach, what you want to get. The main thing is that they have good ground ball technique and that they're sprinting back. And uh, you know they're get, they're just re you're re-emphasizing the uh, the limbo drill that we just did. So it's good to do the limbo drill, then do this one next, just so they can take that skill that they learned and apply it to the the drill.